out of the car. Yes, please do. Yeah, we are. It's an, it's an officer safety in thing. Driveway. It's an officer safety thing, okay? So driver's license and insurance. Go ahead and close the door for me, please. It's my son's safety. You got enough safety gear. Okay. You the one with the guns and stuff. Well, I have no idea if you have guns and stuff too. Oh, so well, the reason I pulled you over, sir, is because you ran the stop sign back there, okay? Uh, sure. All right. Side of the court. They like to kill people, but not my son. Ma'am, can you step up front, please? No. This is my property. You're actually on the sidewalk. So that's perfectly fine. So can you step come on back here? No, please? he cannot. No, he cannot. Give him his ticket. Give him the ticket. You're on probation or parole or anything? No, like he's that, not. I'm talking to him. I'm, I, Are you no, on probation I'm or parole? No, I'm answering for like him. That? No, he's not. Give him his ticket. I can speak to him, ma'am. No, I'm. Are you on probation or parole? Tell her you refuse to talk to her. Give her your, give her your ticket. I refuse to talk to you. Okay, I need to know if you're on probation. No, or you That's don't. the only question. You have the driver's if license. If he's on probation, he needs ready. to answer me if he's on probation. He's or not. Parole. He's I not. So you don't have to answer. I have the ability to identify him. You have his driver's license. Go get my phone. You have his ID. Go run it. You got your phone on you? No. I'm recording right here, and you're welcome to request it. No, we're, we're, we're going to record. Hurry up. You have his ID. Go run it. He don't have to answer any questions. Give him his ticket. I'm George 3 2. I'm out with 3. I'm stable. Not today, not my son. Go inside, Skyler. Go inside. Give him his ticket. He's not answering any of your questions. That's fine. Give him your ticket. This officer is right here harassing my son. She already has his driver's license, registration, and car insurance in her hand. She's asking if he's on parole or probation, and he has to answer her. He said, no, he's not on parole or probation. I said, go give him the ticket, and he, she will not. She's just standing there. What are you waiting for, ma'am? I'm waiting for my partner, ma'am. For what? For a traffic violation? Traffic stops are one of the most dangerous things. Okay, but do. you're making this dangerous. You're escalating it. Go give my son his ticket. I will. And we will I take will care of this in court. You will not be the judge and executioner on this property right here. I'm on the side. You will man. not. Go give my son his ticket. You have I his ID. You can easily run his ID and see if he's on probation or parole. You're not this child. You're correct. Then go do your job. Why I'm are you standing there? Why, and why are you holding on to your gun? Why? My hand is not on my gun. Your hand is on your gun. It's your on hand belt. is on your gun. Go okay. run his ID. Do you ID. understand how violent you're being right now? I'm being violent? Mm -hmm. You're being result. verbally aggressive, yes. No, I'm not being verbally aggressive. You will not change this up. You will not create the narrative here that we've been seeing on the news. If he ran a stop sign, that's what you're saying, we will happily take the ticket. Okay. But I will not allow my son to stand here in front of you with his your hand on your gun. That will not happen. Well, he can't. He's not free to leave, so he's going to stand right there. He's not leaving. He he's not leaving. Right. He's standing you, right you here. Told me that you weren't My gonna son is to not leaving. Here. No, he's standing on our property line. We own this house. And that's he's exactly where I'm He's standing on our property line. You said he ran a stop sign, right? That's, that is correct. Go give him the ticket. I will in due time. And then you can leave. I will in due time. In due time. You guys, she done called for black backup and everything. Y'all share this video because my son will not be the next hashtag. Not going to happen. If he's, if you're not going to give him the ticket, we're not going to stay out here. I am absolutely going to give him a ticket. Then go give him the ticket. He is detained right now. You're free to leave. No, I'm not leaving my son in okay. your hands with That's your fine. hand on your gun. He's not free to leave. You are. You are free to go give him a ticket. If I he will. ran a stop sign, it's no point for this.
You're crazy. You have no his driver's here. license, registration, and insurance in your hand. You just looked at it. You're trying to question if he's on probation or parole because he's a black man? I ask everybody that question, ma'am. Go get, you can run his name and go give him his ticket. I will. But you're not. You're not. You said you fear for your safety, but yeah, you can go to the car and give him your ticket and it shouldn't take longer than five to ten minutes. But you're not. My son will not be the next hashtag. It will not happen. on our property. Uh, you free to leave off yeah. our property because if you slip and fall on this property, guess who's liable? It's us liable. So you're not going to give him the ticket? I'm waiting for my partner as I told no, you. No, we, we're giving you reasonable enough time and that to is a reasonable identify time. him. That is a reasonable to, uh, time. Don't fold our paperwork. Please don't damage our paperwork. We're giving you a reasonable enough time to identify him. Look, y'all, she got his license right there. And again, got right his there. license right there and still got a hold on to her gun. Got his license right there, but she still want to ask for, to identify him. Tanaya, she's calling for backup. She calling for backup for whatever reason. Like, he literally got pulled over when we came outside. How long do you plan on just sitting here staring when you could go give him the ticket? Had he stayed in his car and you not come out, we probably would have been done by now. No, you probably wouldn't because I heard you on the radio yelling at him. I heard you on the radio yelling and screaming. That's why we stepped outside. I heard you. My son will not be victim to you guys. I'm sorry. It will not happen ever on my watch. Ever. I'm sorry you feel that way. Go give him the ticket. And look, you got five minutes to go give him the ticket you or else we're going inside. Time. He is detained. No. You he, are welcome to go inside. If you're not going to identify him, give him the ticket, we're going to go inside. You can go inside. He's detained. He cannot leave this premise. I'm right here. Where, he's he not leaving. This no. is all ours. He cannot leave where this he is standing. This is all right our now. property. I he is not leaving. You're correct. He is not leaving. No, because he's at home. He's not leaving. You are the one that's going to leave. Look, you're blocking traffic. You block. You park right in the middle of the intersection. It's actually not intersection. It's a street. So you want to be a smart ass. Today it's hard to calm down when I got a black son with the cop right here with her hand oh, on her man. gun. We're in Elk Grove, California, in front of our own house. This is our house. If she says she's not leaving, he is detained. She thinks he on probation or parole because he's another black man. Why don't you Google who he is? Because for your information, we're not all on probation or parole. Right. Never been on it. We're not going inside. So are you going to give him the ticket? How long we've been out here now? Ten minutes? Because Jessica, he said, she said he ran a stop sign, but she kept on questioning if he's on probation or parole. He said no. She refuses to run his information to give him the ticket. So now she's just standing here. She don't call for backup. And you see, this is what I tell you about white people. Don't trust them. And it's a damn shame that we can't trust the police. That's what Scully calling. She probably scared. Don't leave. She'll be all right. She'll come out the door in a minute. I ain't never seen nothing like this and I feel so stupid because I'm the always the one she ain't gonna take her eyeglasses off she she she's scared to take her hand off her gun 
No, he looked like he on probation or parole because he a fucking black man. And my husband is recording it. We all out here, not on our watch. Sorry, y'all, my baby in the house is she scared. Brookie, stop calling me. They think they gonna kill my baby? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Over an alleged. Oh, right. Over a legend. Ran, ran a stop sign right there and she pulled him over and he was pulling in the driveway. No, because you're not racist. That's why, Rochelle. That's why you don't think that they all think like that. Because you're not racist. So it's a difference. But just to update you guys, this officer is holding us up. We in front of our house right here, in front of our house, pulled over my black son, yelling, are you on probation or parole? He ran a stop sign, but yet she, re she is refusing to give him a ticket, but he is detained and she's just standing there. And that's what's going on right now. Now she done called for backup. That's what's going on right now. She don't know who she messing with. And they have the nerve to have on a Blue Lives Matter mask. Have the nerve to have on a Blue Lives Matter mask. Y'all please watch this because she is refusing to give my son a ticket and has her hand on her gun. Give him the ticket. My son would not be another one of y'all hashtags. Y'all, I've been in the bell all day with Icy Hot, Flexoril, Motrin. My back went out on me, and now I'm dealing with this. George, 31 from 32. She said 31350. We gonna, we gonna Google that. Thank you for recording. It's our neighbor on the corner. What was your idea? She ran, he ran, she said he ran the stop sign, but she won't give him the ticket because she thinks he's on probation or parole, but she won't run his license. Give him the ticket. We fight, we'll fight this in court. It's not even an issue about the stop sign. We will literally fight this in court. She, and she says that I'm escalating it. She's escalating it. That's exactly what I said. Thank you, Rochelle, for the share. Get her tattoos on her hands. See how she's trying to cover them up. Y'all see them tattoos? She just trigger wrong. happy. Look. She just trigger happy. She just, she real trigger happy. Thank you, Maya. Y'all, I swear to God, y'all know all my son's accomplishments. He will not be the next hashtag going around on social media because this cop wants to stand here and do a standoff and not just give my son a ticket. Yeah, I see her tattoos. And she covering them up with the Blue Lives Matter. I see all of that. She won't write his name. Nothing. What's your badge number? I'm not sure. Can you read it out for him? 297. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My son's in front of my house, um, Jessica. We right here in front of the house. He was pulling into the driveway and he got pulled over. I told him to immediately, you know, my son don't deal with that type of stuff. My son, I told my son immediately get out his driver's license, registration and insurance. So she won't try to, you see how trigger happy she is. So she won't try to tell him that she he's breaching for a weapon because she said that she feel like her life is in jeopardy, but yet she still won't give him the ticket for running the stop sign. 
but she feels like her life is in jeopardy and we've been standing out here for at least five to ten minutes now. Longer than that. Closer to 20. I know he's a good boy. She don't know it. Her badge number is 297 Elk Grove, California PD. Her partner don't seem to think it's too important because if her life was in danger, she shit. He taking a coffee and breaking some donuts right now. Makes no sense at all. Makes no sense at all. Exactly. Just call, write the ticket. We'll go in our house. Can you contact your supervisor? Hello? Officer Johnson. Yes, ma'am. Civil servant. Can you contact your supervisor? I can. When? If you'd like, I can have him come now. Yeah, have him come now because we don't appreciate this. No problem. George, we do. Yes, we did. We did. Good job. But her blue lights matter mask on, the tattoos that she's trying to cover up underneath her watch and underneath the armband. And she says her life is in jeopardy, but she's the only one. We out here in pajamas, she's the only one. We heard this, um, her on a speaker, so we came outside. She waiting for us to make the wrong move so she can use her gun. That's why her hand is constantly on her gun. That's what she's waiting for, Joy. But she said her life is in danger, yet she's the only one out here with the gun. And her hand is on her gun. She has all the required documents to give him the ticket, but yet she is refusing to. I'm thankful he was by the house too. Luckily, he come over here two times a day to eat. Gosh, I'm in so much pain. My question is, why does she keep on leaking? Looks like her eyes are dilated too. Because she, she's waiting. She's yeah. waiting for you to make the wrong move. He's just standing here, and I'm standing in front of him. His hands are by his side. First lady, that's what I would like also. Give him the ticket, we will fight this in court. We ain't never had to endure this all the years we've been living here with Elk Grove PD. But I guess there's always one bad apple in the bunch. You got your phone on you? No. Hi, Joseph. Yeah, well, I can save this video. Ew. I'm call 911. Here you right now. Where? Right here. Second car, bro. I can't hear you, Tanea. Hello? Hi, I'm reporting a cop harassing us. We're residence and she is holding a sausage right now and we are in fear for our lives right now. Because because the, the, the cop has her hand on her gun. She is refusing to give my black son a ticket and we've been standing here for about 10. Look, they almost got into an accident. They've been sitting, we've been sitting here for 10, 20 minutes. They got pulled up. My son got pulled over in front of his, uh, in front of our house, and we've been asking for the ticket, and she has refused to give us the ticket. What's your address, please? Yeah, tell her the address off the camera. We're trying to understand. <laughs> Running the stop sign, she has all his right, documents. So Why? No, I'm talking because you didn't want to talk to us. Why hasn't she the wrote the ticket so we can yeah, move so on? If you could just stand by she has right car ticket. registration, yeah, yeah. insurance, so and no driver's license. Car, I have no idea what they have on them. Okay.
insurance. He has never had a police interaction before. Doesn't know. Just hang up with them because they're not going to help. She was already being sarcastic. So I told him to get it out. Hand it to her. She comes out with her hand on her gut. I said, come stand by me. My son would not be another hashtag. I said, okay. Get, she said he was um, ran a stop sign. I said, give him the ticket. She just stood there. And then her hand was on her gun. Just constantly on her gun. Her, her finger was itching like this. And I'm like, give him the ticket. And we'll take care of it in court. Not a big deal, right? We've been standing out here for at least 10, 20 minutes. I said, we've been living in Elk Grove forever. We have never had this type of police interaction before. She called for backup. What's your first name, Derek? My first name is irrelevant. Well, I just want to talk to you like a person. You could call me Miss. Okay. So... You understand this is not a like an ordinary interaction, right? So what How is it not ordinary? She pulled him over, okay. write the ticket. She was asking if he was on probation or parole. He said, but he said no. And she said, are you sure? I need to know if you're on probation or parole. He no, said no. She said, well, if, I, if you're on probation or parole, you have to talk to me. He said no again. So what's, what's not ordinary about that, that a black man is not on probation or parole? Out here screaming at no right hold now. on i'm not screaming i'm talking okay you're you're, you're worked up right okay. what uh hold on hold on hold on you're not gonna patronize me officer robinson badge number 195 is that ordinarily when somebody gets pulled over okay they provide their driver's license registration insurance the officer goes back they're they're out, make sure they're not American she didn't do that okay so he did that but she didn't do that no, I'm not she yelling. To go back inside the yeah, house. Because that's the ordinary But this is our house, so she can't make us leave our but, house. No, you're right. Nobody's asking you to leave. But when people start She can't make at, us leave him here by himself. When he people, don't know how to deal with this. How, how old is he? He's 19 years old in a in a senior at Sac State in a in a ma double major and a master's student right now at 19 years old. That's what he is. He is my black son. Look y'all another cop. Understand and look, another I'm one. No, she said immediately that she feared for her life. We're been asking her. We've been recording the whole time. Go write the traffic ticket. We will handle this in court. We will take care of this. She didn't even run his name, accusing him of being on probation or parole. When did he step out of the car? He stepped out of the car when she was back there. Okay, so that's that's where the safety issue happens. She's the only one with the gun, ma'am. But it's only elevated because she refused to give him the ticket, y'all. Now she's in there, right? He's in there writing the ticket. All our neighbors were out here videotaping her because they all seen her hand on her gun. We, I'm in my pajamas. He in his pajamas. We are no threat to her. She's the only one with weapons. Then she should have stayed in her car. She's the only one with the gun. All we asked for she was said, the ticket. She never said anything about calling another unit. She, she said, she said, no. She told us to go in the house. And we said, we on our property line right here. And literally, if you guys were to fall on this sidewalk, you guys could sue us. But, but it's not unusual for her to ask you guys. But it's unusual for somebody to keep their hand on their gun for a stop. All we're asking for is the ticket. Okay, that's all we want we don't know anything about you right? but okay. we don't know anything about you she got tattoos covered up and she pulled over my black son okay. the only thing we know will become hashtags not this one okay. i invested too much all we want is the ticket kid, right? she thinks he's on probation or parole okay. that's what she kept on saying okay. just because he's black he is not on probation or parole all you want to do is scream at me. I'm trying to explain to you. It's nothing to explain. All we want is the ticket so I can take my son in the safety of our house. Right, the officer told her to stand by and watch us. They got K-9 unit and everything. The next is coming to this watch. It's crazy. The K-9 unit went to the other call. He's just riding it. I have never endured this with Elk Grove PD ever, ever in my life.
Citation, please. Have your son go and sign it. Much. Get your right hand. Why you holding this? I know why. <laughs> you don't want me on your property, remember? You know, That's not my property. property. Sign right here. Not admitting guilt. Stating you know you have to get take care of by twelve fourteen. Of well, I took 14. all these officers over here just to get a ticket. Go in the house that way. I gotta give him a citation. Please. I'll take it. Okay, you have to give it to him. Tobias, mm -hmm. take the citation. If you could please dismiss yourself from my property, Officer Johnson, walk in that way and walk in the house and check on your sister. Okay. So the way this all went down is um, I was doing stop the sign. Uh, I'm trying to hear what stop, they say. She did a stop sign violation. He pulled to the right. I for him to, or pulled to the left. I paid for him to pull to the right. He refused to, and then he hopped out of the car when these two came out. So um, I was basically oh, okay. like, I'm yeah. over number. So who, who's the driver? That he just stepped inside. He okay. signed a citation. Okay. So. All right. So basically, I stood here because they refused. So to you see how she's trying to cover um, herself right now, y'all? I'm sorry, the live went dead earlier. She's all yours. Okay. So, um, what's uh, where are you guys? Uh, so the problem is the behavior of your officer, Officer Johnson, badge number 297. And this is Jacobo, badge number 147, you guys. When my son was pulled over, I told him to get his driver's license, registration, and insurance. He has never been pulled over before, never had an interaction with the officer. Okay. He, asked, he got up the car and asked me, was this it? She was still with her flashing lights, because we didn't know if it was him being pulled over, but I was like, I think that's him. So that is you. So he said, is this it? She started yelling, are you on probation or parole? Get back in the car. And I'm like, whoa, she's coming over aggressively with her hand on her gun. I put my son behind me. And I said, what is he getting pulled over before? He has to answer my question. Ask it three more times, is he on probation or parole? He said no. We all said no. Why would you think he's on probation and parole? At this time, she has his ID, his registration, and his insurance, and she's still right there where this officer is. And actually, she was actually acting like a servant of the community where this officer was. And she stared, had a staring contest for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
if we said, well, if he ran the stop sign, give him the ticket, we'll take care of this in court. She refused to give us the ticket. She said her life is being threatened right now. And she tried to use the different type of verbiage that you guys use in the police in the police reports to add extra charges, saying that I'm verbally attacking her. Not once did I say anything offensive. The only thing that I ever demanded for was for her to give him the speeding ticket and for her to get her hand off her gun because she's the only one out here with the weapon. And yet, she is still the only one out here with the weapon. For a traffic violation, I've been in this city for a long time. I have never seen this many cars come. I have never seen one of your officers act in this type of demeanor that she has acted in. And then she was being aggressive with my son. And then she refused to give him the ticket. And that's all we asked for. She said he's being detained. I said, you have about five more minutes. Look at the air quality out here. It's hot. I'm sick. I shouldn't even be outside. And she's making a standoff over a, a stop sign because she thinks he's on parole or probation. And she refused, as one of your officers says, the protocol is for him to, her to run the information. She didn't even call in his name. She didn't call. She called for backup. She could have seen that my son is an honor student, 19 years old at Sacramento State in the master's program. And that's what I was upset about. She should have just gave it to him. What if I wasn't here? She's aggressive. She's trigger happy. She's ready to snap the button off of her finger, off of her gun to try to hurt my son. I don't appreciate that, and I would like to file a formal complaint against her. So, is there? I mean, do you have any questions about the traffic stop or any of that? Her her actions. Okay. It's, we can deal with you the traffic. You guys can. We can deal her. with the traffic stop in court. That's what we told her. We would deal with that. He's over there.